benefits. Typically, it has cost a little bit more than conventional power, like coal or gas. I think what people are beginning to realize is that there is a need for more renewable power. And I think what you'll see over time is more renewable power comes on than the price is going down. Uh, this project, though, I don't think is going to have a material effect on, on your rates if you were that You know, uh, a number of years ago, you wouldn't be able to build a, a TV project like this. It would just have been too expensive. And so the cost has come down a lot. Um, how many homes are you looking at with the supply of electricity for? You know, it depends on how you calculate it. Um, I did a back of the envelope, and it was between 70 balance. 70,000 and 100,000 homes, if you assume a typical home and a typical home, home of your water meter. Pardon me? What tier are you talking about? Tier rating that we have, I know. Would that be like a two or three tier rating? How do you spend the total amount of power in our supply? Is it just a This won't show up as part of the tier rate structure, but we'll just be part of the part of the utilities portfolio and, as I said, have some very modest effect on rates that we you know this is going to go. Yes, as far as new businesses moving to the community, what, what kind of impact will that have? Uh, well, as Jack mentioned, I think we're going to create some some jobs. I, maybe, I, maybe I don't completely understand the, the question in terms of how well, the power... Uh, the, the business is already here, and new business is moving in, your, your, your options are, is that going to help community or? Well, it I, relates back to what I asked you. What are you going to do for the community? You know, I, those are excellent questions. And I think we've all been saying uh, we are very committed to working with this community to not only bring a quality project online, but to be good neighbors. and. Uh, that may mean a contribution, may mean participating in your political process out here, whatever that is, with the executive committee and others to shape policy in this area. Uh, we're happy to do that. It's a little bit early for me to say what we can do. Uh, what I can tell you is that we're committed to being a good neighbor, actually working with you. And, I, I, and in a discussion that we've had with them, the town council has asked that they look for qualified um, workers that when they start building their plant in this area first, and animal bakers, as long as we have the qualified people to do the job that they give animal bakers, since they are in our area, special attention first. And that if they are, of course, they have to take the best worker that they have. But we have asked them, and they have agreed to do that. So that would be very much of a good for our, our area and create jobs and I know that there's contractors that live out here and he said that would be the type of work that would be doing and I know we have people that are desperately in need of a job and they are trying to help us be a good neighbor. A lot of uh, just to, uh, as Jack mentioned, Vicki mentioned, this is going to create jobs during construction. There's about 18 Month to two years. No, no, close to three years. Close to three year construction period. So, you know, 300 family wage jobs over a, a, that period of time is fairly significant. As Jack mentioned, these types of jobs will involve assembly. Uh, you know, the parts will be fabricated somewhere, but that's uh, going to involve <coughs> assembly and installation on the site. So, um, I think construction skills easily translate into that. So, there should be a lot of local job opportunities. I don't know if that's Addressing your they question. Be contractors? Like you have a contractor come in, do your grading, and then another yep. contractor do your floating, so whatever. Yes, it will. Yes. So in other words, you will bring in revenue to the community. Yes, we we'll should. We'll be looking for a, you know, for a local. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, they'll be, they'll be. I mean, over th over three years, so they're temporary. Yes, but but over three year period and. Uh, you know, and then the, per the permanent jobs will be pe most likely people to do those will be people who live here. I mean, because it will be right down the road. That would be a good commute to work on. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> any other questions? <coughs> if you have any in the future, uh, 
uh, look on our website, look on the handout, the uh, email address, uh, or uh, if you have any just this afternoon, uh, after, after this presentation and would like to talk to us, we'll all be just right out over here. I got a question for you. Uh, are you going to let the community know before you start hiring, like we're going to start hiring at this date? and start giving out applications in this community first and go yes. through? Yes, we will. But before any of that happens, we will, uh, we will let Vicki know, we will let the uh, elevators, uh, town council know, and they'll, they'll inform us. And we'll, and they'll tell us how to inform you. So we'll make sure we post it at the community center, at the market, and on the website, any place that anybody has a suggestion, we'll be more than happy to uh, post it. Tell both water companies, tell your neighbors and friends. So um, we'll let everybody know the best we can. And if anybody has any other suggestions on how to let us start <coughs> um, when the jobs are available, we'll be more than happy to take those suggestions at that time. Anything else? Anybody else? When is this project supposed to, to take place? We're in the permitting phase now. We intend to start construction in the fourth quarter of 2010. And that's how long it's going to take us to, to uh, get the permits that will allow us to go So forward. you get to put all your signs up and all that stuff in there? Yeah. I'm just asking. Uh, you're supposed to give a public notice, right? Uh -huh. Yes, we'll have, uh, we'll have public meetings. The, the county will hold public meetings about our project. And I, I expect we'll communicate that through um, through uh, this organization. Also, uh, have that on our website as part of that process, so that whenever we're going to have uh, as part of the uh, part of the county permitting process, we're going to have a public meeting, and I believe there will be one here in uh, Antelope Valley. So, right now, um, we will give you a lot of advance notice of that, and you'll have an opportunity to participate in that as well. And they will have to put their CDP sign in, just like Mr. Morales, sure. just like uh, uh, All Nations International and everyone has had to do. So they will have to abide by the county rules on that. And I'm sure the county knows the rules. So, yeah, I just have one. I noticed you don't have anything on there about the environmental, anything on environmental, and yet you're in heavy agricultural area. Um, are you taking away, or is this something we have to say or not? And intimate domain is just going to take it whether I say yes or no either way. Mm -hmm. Well, it, as, as Jack mentioned, we have bought the property outright, so it's not an eminent domain proceeding where the government or one of the utilities would come in and take the property for this purpose. So we have bought the property; we own it fee. Um, as Jack mentioned, the this this type of installation uh, compared to other power plants is uh, results in fairly limited disturbance of the property. So, as you see in these artist simulations, you're going to see um, vegetation growing through the the project. Um, so mm -hmm. the intention is to have as little impact on the land as possible, um, and at the same time reap all the environmental benefits of harvesting the sun. This is, we just look at it really as, as a new kind of crop, so if you will. So it's going to be 3.5 acres of what we look at it to have to do with the windmills out from the west side, more or less, with that stuff, right? Is that what you're saying? Well, All them solar things? On the west of us, it's going to look like the place we look at it to have to be when we see all the windmills? No, I, I don't think so. This is a much lower uh, profile technology. So the windmills, um, as you know, sit on top of those large towers. There's some other solar technologies that um, also use a tower. Right. Um, these are pretty low profile. So from a distance, uh, they tend to disappear in the landscape. Um, on our website, we have a before and after picture uh, taken from, it's an actual two photographs taken from the Poppy Reserve where you can really see what it looks like from a distance. And frankly, it looks a little bit like a, a lake or a mirage. Um, this simulation is much closer to the project. So this is <coughs> what you might see if you're driving down 138. Each of these tractors is about 12 to 12 14 feet high at the highest point. Yeah. So they don't tend to obstruct the view over a distance, but uh, they will look like that when you drive by them. Wind towers are 250 feet high. Big difference. They have flashing red lights. Yeah. Next slide have other questions. Yeah. Um, I'm going to 